It's Mighty Lancer Games Reaper Bone Subscription Unboxing Day. Hello, welcome to the Battling Barrel. My name's Kev, and we've got another package from Mighty Lancer Games. Um, it's the Reaper Bones unbox, uh, subscription unboxing time. So let's put this down on the desk and open up and have a look. Okay, so what have we got? War Dog. Uh, as normal, I'll probably uh, go in closer in a bit. Just going to go have a quick look at what we've got. We have a War Dog, so he is a dog. The Mighty Lance Games sticker. Uh, I should point out I am not affiliated with these in any way. Uh, I pay for this out of my own back. Uh, if you're interested, go to this uh, website here and subscribe yourself. It's £20, including postage. Um, well, it's got uh, some goblins. Always good to have goblins. I actually bought these uh, from Mighty Lance Games earlier on in the year. So uh, I've got some more now, which is good because you can never have too many goblins. So I shall paint these up, much the same as my others. That's cool. Ooh. Clear one. I always like getting these. This is a ghost. This is La Bella de Mornay. Uh, she's a banshee. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Reef Bones do these lovely ethereal ghost undead models. Um, as it's, I'm opening these up pretty much just entering October, Halloween month. It's handy. Uh, what else we got? Oh, Silverhorn the Unicorn. Uh, yeah. Can't, I wanted to, well, I actually wanted to buy a unicorn model, so that's that's well handy. It's a fairly big one, like that. And ooh, yeah, I've got a couple more big ones in here. We got in here. We got Trickstar Female Warrior. So nice, just box standard female warrior. Uh, yep, always good to have sort of plain character type models. Uh, I'm gonna leave that to last. That one. Um, got Griffin again. Love models like Griffins and things. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, right, she was going to buy a few uh, medieval monsters, you know, medieval style monsters this year, and never got around to it. So this will make up for it. Love that nice big chunky model. You know? And well, we have uh, a Cthulhu spawn, I guess, and called here an Eldritch Demon. But yeah, look at that. Perfect for this kind of month. Yeah, let's have a look at them um, up close and personal. War Dog. Um, let's open them up. Uh, okay, where is he? He's a lovely looking dog, actually. <laughs> look at him. War Dog. Uh, he has a pee pee. So uh, that's not always nice in these models. Uh, yeah, war dog. Dog of war. He's got a little chest chest armor. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, he has the DBs. Look at that. I bet you come and clack you watching this video. Uh, war dog. I'm going to call him Derek. Derek the dog of war. War dog. Okay, next up. Uh, La Bella Domone, uh, Banshee. So, uh, nice thing about these models is uh, you don't have to paint them, so uh, you can get ahead of your painting backlog really easy. So, uh, well, you might have to do the base. I tend to like putting my uh, Reaper Bones miniatures on bases anyway, I use round bases. Got loads of these sort of bases, so I tend to glue them on. That's what I'll do with this one. Might use a slightly bigger base, but for the most part, that's what I do. That's all I have. We'll have to do is base them. But uh, we're not going to have to really get much detail on her, I don't think, because it's going to be very difficult to see her face. But she is 
translucent and looking really cool. Uh, really ethereal. Cool. Like that. Uh, what we got next? Silver Horn, the unicorn. So, uh, is the Reaper Bones soft plastic? This is the grey stuff rather than the white, but still, this one's still quite soft. Grey is normally quite hard, this one's soft, but it is a majestic looking unicorn. Lot of detail there. Quite big. Where's Hugo? So we can get get a size comparison. Quite big. There right, you go. Neat unicorn. I uh, might have to put him in some hot water, just straighten his leg up a bit, and maybe his horn. I don't think his horn's going to be that wonky. A bit of hot water. Bones are really easy to fix. Uh, for this case, you've got a wonky one like this. You just put them in hot water, straighten them out, and then you can put them in cold water straight away. Uh, I'm not going to do a video on that because if you want to watch something like that, just go to the Mighty Lancer Games YouTube channel themselves. They did a video on it once, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, let's open the gobbos. Um, I've already got some of these, and stuff like this you can never have too many of. Uh, they six of them and they're on a sprue uh, and they are what you get is two of the same sprue so have a look at this one we have chappy with spiky club chappy with bendy stick or a bow as it's called in the trade and chappy with pointy stick or a spear so yeah these are pretty cool i love their caps and look like the Green Goblin from Spider-Man. Uh, I always pick mine with red caps, like they're the red cap goblins. There we go. So you got got those. Love those. Uh, what we got next? Uh, Trista, female warrior. Okay, Trista. Uh, she certainly is a female warrior. Lovely uh, detail on the armor. Is that a fleur de lis there type thing on the breastplate? Yeah, uh, a wolf type shield. That's a cool shield. That's a totally fantasy shield. I like that. Uh, she is wearing appropriate armor, which is good. None of that. Uh, I suppose the midriff's a little exposed, but at least it's not flesh underneath. Looks like some sort of gambeson there, so it's better than most things would have here for female warriors uh, yeah I really like that that's cool okay we're getting on to the final two big guys we have Griffin his name's gonna be Peter uh, this is a multi-part model uh, yeah and this is the f sort of thickest grey stuff I was talking about feels, this feels actually like the Old white bones, and I got its name, and this is the thicker grey. Um, so, yeah, we have the Griffin, who for some reason I'm thinking of an old bank chain in the UK called uh, BSB. BSB, do that used to have Griffin in? I'm sure, it did. Has some wings, lovely detail on the wings. You get some really nice texture detail with these these bones. I mean, from what you pay for them compared to what other companies do, you, these are really cool uh, details. These are just going to slide here. So, very rarely do you need to do much more work than glue things in. Maybe a bit of uh, ring stuff around there to fill in the gaps, but that's about it. There it is, he has a nice bit of wingspan. What do you reckon, Hugo? You're not happy about that. It looks like he's going to peck your face off. You have to griff him. And finally, we have this big guy here. The Eldritch Demon, which is cool. Good for if you run any Call of Cthulhu 
role playing games. Uh, they also do, so I've got a few of them, things like Shogoths and things, which is nifty. Reef Bones, uh, uh, this is. This is cool. I like that. That is totally uh, awesome. A little uh, cool look type thing. So, yeah, cool. That is. That's, uh, that's what we got. Let's set it all up and have a look at it all in one and see what we think. Okay, here we go. That's what we got. That's quite a nice pile. A lot of big beefy models in this month's one, which I enjoy. Uh, you know, some really cool models. Uh, probably the least useful for me is old uh, War Dog here. Derek the War Dog. Uh, but that's not to say I won't use him. I, I will. I'm going to paint him up. Never have too many dogs. Uh, goblins, even though I've only just really finished painting these month or so back great to have some more because I was gonna buy more loads more so perfect so I'm gonna get these all painted up well, I'll show you in a minute I'll do a edit in a minute and uh, get some hang on okay so yeah here now my uh, goblins here that I've not got so that's what they have to look like painted uh, and if you paint them, you could probably get them to look a lot better. Uh, yeah. So that's great. I've got some of those. So we've got those. Uh, strong female warrior. Uh, yeah, like her. She'll be getting painted up. Uh, this thing, the Banshee, is just great. I love these uh, ethereal ghost models from Reapers. I've got loads of them different reasons uh, the unicorn love these two here in particular because these are sort of medieval-esque sort of fantasy creatures and I was been meaning to buy some this year never got around to it so that this is great it sort of makes up for it uh, I did buy a basilisk uh, again from I, think I got that from my last games yeah that's great it's so got him got the uh, griffin He's, uh, Amazing, can't wait to get start painting him. And I'll see something from Call of Cthulhu is always good. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with this month. I say this every month, but I genuinely am really, really pleased with this. These, this is amazing. Um, genuinely happy. This is these are all gonna get some use in games quite soon. Maybe not him so much, I don't really play Call of Cthulhu anymore role-playing game uh, but I am into the works of Lovecraft so this would just be a great fun painting project so but yeah that's it for this this month's Reaper on Bones boxing um, if you uh, watch this and you haven't considered uh, subscribing to the box let me know in the comments if you this has changed your mind um, let me know if you think this is value for money it's 20 quid including postage uh, I, th I generally think it is I mean I don't if I go into some other games companies stores and buy their models I'm not walking away with this much for 20 quid am I probably not even walking away with one blister pack from a certain company but that's it that's it for this one until the next video guys stay safe take care